Hey everyone, G loves trains here. I'm in Macclesfield, just outside of Riverside Park, which is where the Bolling Valley Way begins. It is a walking route that follows the River Bolling from Macclesfield to Partington. I have been on it several times before, just like on my free days, where I've walked from Macclesfield just to Presbury. But I keep seeing the sign down there, which says Wilmslow Seven Miles, and it has inspired me to come and do the walk all the way to Wilmslow. The walk begins passing under the Stafford to Manchester railway line and hey up, Blackpool Tower straight away. Yay, yeah, I hear the flowing water, the river has come into view now and we have had some January snow which is turning to ice so I will be being careful walking along here today. I have brought the resident cow experts along with me. So cows actually reside here from spring till the autumn and they actually reside in all three fields. Watch the ice! We are walking right alongside the railway line and we're just waiting for the 1240 Avanti Pendo off of Macclesfield that's come from London Euston headed towards Manchester Piccadilly to pass by. It is 390118. Oh my days, it probably would have been a better idea to walk over there on the grassy bit because I'm actually wearing shoes I literally bought the other day and I've ruined them already now because they're absolutely drowned in mud. Coming through those kissing gates, it does mean that we've now left Riverside Park and we're just on this sort of pot <laughs> We're just on this sort of footpath through to Presbury. So coming off the path there, we then have to go through this gate onto a far thinner path. It's very muddy here, a bit like an obstacle course for server. I'll try and demonstrate how you get across this tree trunk. That path has now led us into just a street, so I'm going to have to try and find where we go from here, but I think we're going to pop whilst we're in Presbury just to go and get a little drink. Right, we're going to go in ye olde Admiral Rodney for a ye olde Diet Coke. It cost me two quid for each of these. What's that? Right, we're back walking next to the River Bolling and Gloves Trains has had to come out because it's gone really cold. I think it's because we were just sitting indoors, obviously. Is that footpath or footpath? <laughs> I find myself on yet another thin but very muddy path. It is very scenic around here and we have veered off away from the Stafford Manchester line now. The path just gets thinner and thinner. Honestly, I love coming for outdoorsy walks like this. I'm loving watching the river meandering around here. This will become an Oxbow Lake one day. I tell you what, this section is a lot more peaceful and quiet without the bustle of people and dogs. There are a lot of dogs that come down the Bolling Valley Way. The path is now very high up, so we are having to take extra care. Well, I mean, I'm having to take extra care of Louse because she nearly just fell off of this path. How's your vegan sausage roll? Fantastic. Plants are attacking me. Open your gob.
Not only have we been following the course of the river, we've also been following this golf course for absolutely ages, but I think finally we've reached the end of it. Just coming up to the next gate. How are we gonna get through all this? I think it's time to buy some wellies. <laughs> oh, frick. Back of your shoes, G. It's like an extra brown layer on the back. <laughs> Here's me trying to get a shot of them ducks. <laughs> <laughs> that was me slipping over. The surface is maybe slippery, but it is lovely right down by the water here. There you go, one foot in front of the other. There you go. It's road with no pavements time. Not for very long though. We're just crossing over the river and then I think I see the sign that leads us back down onto a path. As it turns out, there is an actual Oxbow Lake on this route, which is right behind me here. And you can tell it's an Oxbow Lake as well because the water doesn't flow. So we were just talking to some people then and they said that the next gate is going to be a difficult one for us to get through. Okay, I see what they meant. The floor is just absolutely covered in runny mud. And it's one of those that when you step on it, it feels like your shoe's going to come off. Oh, sorry about that. I'm a bit windy today. <laughs> oh, it's worse on this side. Uh, <laughs> I've been told to put my leg on that. I can't believe it. Oh, I don't think I should have worn my new shoes. <laughs> we are in Wilmslow now, which is great news because it is starting to go dark. Like I mentioned at the start of the vlog, the walk does continue on through to Partington. Overall, the Bolling Valley Way is 25 miles long. Sorry, it wrong, sorry, it long, but we're gonna be turning off it at the next road. How did you find the walk? Fantastic. I love me flowing water, me, but that is someone else. Well, that is a walk I've been wanting to do for quite some time completed now. It was pretty much a tack of the mud the whole way through. And it did take us, admittedly we had breaks here and there throughout, but there about five-ish hours. I've now got to walk all the way, but actually I don't. I've got to walk a little bit up here to Wilmslow Station and I'm getting the train. Thank you very much for watching everyone. Bye boys! Coming through the, I'm gonna fart. <laughs> <laughs> Coming through those gifts. <laughs>